Nestled at the top of a hill, deep in the woods lies this incredible forgotten time capsule. Abandoned sometime in 2013, the German family that once lived here seemingly got up one day, never to return. All of their items were left behind, and the power was left on as if they planned to only be gone for a few hours. The home sits rotting away as the roof succumbs to the weather. The property was sold earlier this year for $1.8 million, a steal for almost 20 acres. The home will likely be demolished, forever leaving the mystery of what happened here. Alright, what's up guys, it's Noah here, and today we are exploring this very cool abandoned house that's just sitting in the middle of the forest. This place is pretty sweet. Um, I took a look around, it looks like it's a time capsule inside, the power's still on. So, without further ado, let's get into this amazing adventure. Look at this, guys. You can tell that nobody's been here in a super long time. It's a very interesting door, eh? Restricted area, do not enter. It's kind of weird, guys, because it looks like something must have happened here because it's got a bunch of caution tape just all over this house, even on the back door here. It's like a nice porch area, but then like, you can just see. That's so weird, and you can see the power is on in there too. All right guys, so we are inside this incredible abandoned time capsule. It has tons and tons of decay. You'll see this in a second. The power's still on, and it seems like it was abandoned sometime in 2013. Everything's left behind here, and when you see the state of how bad everything is here, you'll be shocked that the power's on. It's it's just nasty. You can tell that nobody's been here in years. So this is going to be a really, really cool one. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we're starting at the front door here. The front door itself isn't interesting, but just wait till you see the rest of the house. Right away, you can see all the coats are still in the closet. As you can see, all the ceiling is on the ground. Take a look at this. The home is packed full of personal effects through and through. Just look at all the books that they have still here. We're going to start in their living room first. Again, tons and tons of books left here. As you can probably see, the ceiling is completely falling in, and there's holes straight inside the house. It's kind of cool, the old mash book.
quite a nice house too. Got a like, nice little sill on the window right here. It's a nice little curved one. It's like an 80s back split bungalow style home, but it has seen better days. You might be able to see there, guys. The uh, the light is still on. Oh, there's power in this house still. That's just nuts to me. This, I guess, this is a dehumidifier, ironically, but that is still on. You can actually hear it. So it's pretty insane. A giant telescope here. It's just insane, this house. The entire floor is basically just insulation. That's what we're walking on. Not exactly sure what happened here, but it just, it's just a person's life left behind, which is always the most sad kind of houses. This is cool. This tree guy. Huh. This wasn't here when I came. James had set up this little TV. Originally there was a TV here, but somebody actually stole it, which doesn't make sense. Because like look at the state of this. But uh yeah, it's pretty interesting. Don't know how far I can actually go into some of these rooms, guys, but I'm going to try my best for you. Got the beautiful chandelier right there. You can see they were trying to uh, prevent the flooding or catch the water at one point, but the bucket's overflowed. Now I could probably start screwing around with lights in this house, guys, but I don't think that that's a good idea. I also apologize if my uh, voice sounds a bit weird. I have my respirator on, so uh, yeah, it's just not worth it. You can see right here, though, that 2013, so that's when we're assuming the house was abandoned, probably. This is their kitchen. It does lead into the dining room, which makes sense. It's kind of an 80s style. The fridge is actually on. You can just see from over time, water's actually filled those cups back up. The sink is completely full. And that's all because of the hole right up here. This entire room is pretty much like that. Look at that. It's still on. That's nuts. Let's see how long it's been on for. Frozen. That's the fridge part.
Make our way down the hallway. It's pretty nice, this hand-drawn photo. They must have absolutely loved reading, or maybe they were like a teacher or something, because like the amount of books that they just have at this house is quite a, a, quite insane, honestly. So I'm doing my initial walkthrough. I do know the lights work in this room, but just based off the state of it, we're probably not going to turn them back on. I bumped into it by accident. Very cool. Wow, look, look at that toilet paper. All their products are still up here too. This looks like it would have been one of the bedrooms. This is a German passport. It is. This, I, I don't know if this is a parent's room or a kid's room. It's just so bad. It's just hard to tell. Got another room right here. Obviously another bedroom. Kind of weird they got some... German alcohol. More books. It's cool. Little CD player with the stuffy in front of it. Like, you can just, I know I keep pointing it out, but the damage of this house is unreal. The fact that there's an entire life left behind in this one, and it's in this bad of shape, I've never seen anything like it. So this room is very interesting, but it's a tight squeeze, so I might struggle for a second here. It's such a tight squeeze because... The door is actually wedged by the floor here, so, you know. That has been rotting for a very long time. Even more books in there. It's a very well-read family, that's for sure. Never seen so many abandoned books in a house. Alright, so that is the top floor, guys. We're going to head downstairs where it's just equally as packed and cool. Alright, guys, we're going to head downstairs now.
gotta be careful though because the floor is you might hear it, it's super moist. It's like a ramp. Eh. Wow. Quite literally incredible. There's this caution tape on the uh, windows, which is interesting. So maybe there was a crime that happened here. I think something happened to the family, man, because it's like nobody just leaves this much stuff behind, especially with the power running like that. Because you can see that light's on. Like, it looks like it's been just ransacked, the house. Got the nice elliptical here too. Pretty nice fireplace. Oh, there's some photos. Ah, oh, the postcards, okay. Interesting. I honestly guys think something bad happened to the family. Because it's like, why would they just leave it like this? in here. I can't read. What's this like? Basement does have significant damage though. Oh man. Look at this. They have three fridges. There's so much molding food in there. It's disgusting. Might have been a little bit of a hoarder too, because like there's a lot of crap on the ground. This is running. How old does pine soul need to be to do that? This washroom still got power. Something else super interesting, guys. So there's a basement kitchen. Maybe they're renting it out. I don't know. But. It is still flashing. I don't know if you can see it. But that is still flashing. Yo, they even have an indoor hot tub. I 
That's pretty wild. Nice cedar wood. Some decorations. More books. <laughs> it's a really big hot tub jacuzzi, eh? It's big enough it has a railing. This is the garage. That's pretty much it guys, like it's six degrees. This is still running. This is weird, this is the laundry room right off the garage. The shower in here too. Weird. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this explore of this amazing abandoned time capsule. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Drop a comment down below. What do you think happened here? Because I have no idea. And uh, a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody that's watched the Forgotten Home Ontario series. This is episode 100. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, so I was just, I came back to this house just to redo the drone stuff for you guys because... My drone footage was just like completely blown out. Finish up the drone footage and then I look in the window and who do I see? Look at this, look at who I ran into. I ran into my buddy Static Spaces. Hey guys, what's up? I, I, when I tell you that he scared the life out of me, <laughs> um, you know, I, I simply almost perished. Make sure to check him out on YouTube. Uh, he's gonna be doing a video of this place as well. But I'll leave his link down below. Go show him some love. He's a spit of a smaller channel, makes great content, so definitely check him out.